Hello everyone, welcome to another crochet video here at the Lake Villa District Library. In this video we are making crochet bookworm bookmarks. Here's a look at the finished bookmarks. They were so much fun to crochet. So let's take a look at what is included in your kit. So this page is the pattern. You're going to get a crochet hook. This is a size H. You'll get two skeins of yarn in random colors. Mine happen to be purple and blue. And then you're gonna get a small baggie. And in this baggie is a darning needle, a plastic darning needle, and some googly eyes for your finished bookworm. So let's get into the project. We're going to create a slip knot first. So let's open up this skein of yarn and find the end. So you're going to start out by creating a loop on the desk in front of you. You'll put your fingers through the loop and grab the end. And then with the end that's attached to the skein of yarn, I'm just pulling it off my fingers and that creates your slip knot. Let's put this on our crochet hook and get started. I'm going to show you how I like to hold my yarn. I put it over my pointer finger, and then I like to pinch the yarn up close to the crochet hook. To chain, you're going to wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and pull it through the loop. It's very simple, and we're going to do this 80 times. You want to make sure not to do it too tight or too loose. It does take some practice to get an even chain, but just take your time and you'll get it. This chain is going to be the part of your bookmark that goes inside of your book to keep your place. When we get to the end of our chains, that's when we're going to start creating the curly part of your bookworm. Let's speed this up a bit so that we can get through our chaining. I found that you can make up three bookworm bookmarks using one of these small skeins of yarn. These would be great to make up for gifts or just to make up a bunch for yourself to use in your own books. So here we are at the end. And let me show you what 80 chains look like. And this bookmark is going to fit in your large books as well as your smaller books. Our next step is to start doing some double crochets. We're going to double crochet in the third chain from your hook. So here's the first chain, second, and third. So we're going to go into the third chain there. But we're going to wrap the yarn around our hook. So we have two loops on our hook, and then we're going to go into that third chain, yarn over and pull it through the chain. And now we have three loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through the last two loops on our hook. Let's do that again. So we're going to yarn over, so we have two loops on our hook, and we're going into the same chain we just did. Go in the chain, grab up a loop, now we have three loops. Wrap the yarn around and go through two loops. Wrap the yarn around and go through the last two loops on your hook, and that is a double crochet. We're going to double crochet twice in the next 14 chains now. So let's do that again. We're going to yarn over so that we have two loops on our hook. Go through the next chain, pull up a loop, and we're gonna do the same thing where you wrap around and go through two loops, wrap around again and go through the last two loops. So again, we're doing two double crochets in each chain. Crocheting like this is going to make your work start spiraling. And this is what makes your fun, twisty bookworm. So just take your time with it and practice. We've produced several previous crochet videos, and if you've been crocheting along with us, you're probably an old pro at it already. There's going to be a special Valentine's Day crochet video next month. So if you're interested in that one, make sure you call the library on February 1st to sign up, and then you can come pick up your kit. There is a lot of fun programming going on now, so make sure you check out our website at lvdl.org to see everything that's going on. Each week we have a fun take and make kit that you can pick up at the library. We have separate kits for preschoolers, elementary kids, and teens. 
Okay, I'm going to skip ahead here a little bit to our last double crochet. And here is what it looks like. It's such a fun pattern. To finish off our work, we're going to slip stitch in the next chain. So push your hook through the chain and grab up a loop. Pull it on through the chain and right on through the loop on your hook. And now we can cut off the yarn. Leave yourself a nice long tail, at least a few inches. And then we're just going to pull that string right on through. And this will make a little knot for us. And then give it a little tug. And here it is almost done. We just have to weave in our ends now. So pull out your plastic darning needle. You can use your crochet hook to weave in your ends, but I find that the darning needle is a really fast and fun way to do this. So let's thread our needle with our tail. An easy way to do this is to wrap it around your needle and pull it really tight. And then you have a nice flat piece of yarn just to push through the eye of your needle. So let's sew in our tail. I'm just going to sew it in the chain. So I'll hold it out, and then I'm just going to go down into the chain, and then back up, and I'm not pulling too tight on this. This is going to help your work from unraveling. You only have to do this a few times, and then once we're done, we're going to pull off our needle and then trim it again really close to the chain. And then give it a little tug to hide the yarn end. Now let's do the same thing with the other tail. Wrap it around your needle and pull it off. And then you can push it easily through the eye. Now let's sew this end into the chain. And again, we're just going down and up just a few times. In the previous crochet videos, I show you how to do this step with a crochet hook. So if you're interested in that, you can go back and watch those. But I do prefer a darning needle. It just goes so much faster and easier. OK, now we can cut off the tail. Give it a little tug just to hide the end of that. And here it is. We're almost done. We just have one more step to do now. So pull out your wiggly eyes. You can glue this with a hot glue gun like I'm doing here, or you can use tacky glue. I like to use hot glue. It's just, it just seems to be a very secure hold. I'm using a wax pen just to pick these up. Now let's put another dab of glue down. You can get an adult to help you with this too, of course. And let's pick up the last eyeball. And there it is, all finished. I hope you have fun crocheting your bookworm bookmarks. They go really fast. Now let's put this in a book, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. So here is one of my very favorite books. This is Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. And this is kind of a large book, but it fits just perfectly. So the twisty part of your bookworm sticks out of the book, and just his tail goes in the book. And it's very lightweight and fun. And then you can see the other end of the tail just kind of sticks out a little bit. I'm going to show you what this looks like in a smaller book, too. So let's pull out the bookworm bookmark. And this is another of my very favorite books. This one is called Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. This is a smaller book, so let's see how it fits in this book. So your tail's going to have a little more room, but they're just very fun and lightweight. And again, they're gonna make really great gifts. I bet your teachers would love to have one of these. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope that you join us next month for our special Valentine crochet project. Here are all three of my little bookworm bookmarks. So give us a call at the library if you need some new books to read. We've got plenty. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Bye.